Today's episode of Tasha's Sewing Tutorials will be a technical video and it will be the correct way to sew on a button. Well, yes, there is a correct way to sew on a button. There is the way that everybody normally does it, and then there is the right way to do it. And the right way, I can promise you 99.5% of the time, if you do it the right way, your buttons will never fall off. Well, let's get started. Well, the first thing we're going to do is talk about the two different button types, and then we'll get right to it. First of all, there are, let me adjust my camera, two types of buttons. We have the um, flat button, which is what this is, and this. And then we have these kind of buttons right here with the little thing on the back like this, a little loop on the back. And the buttons with the loop on the back like that, these are called shank buttons, buttons with the shank. And these right here are self-explanatory. These are flat buttons. Now, when it comes to sewing on a button with a shank on the back, these are straightforward. You just um, sew a few several times through the shank and the fabric, and you're done. Those are straightforward. The actual one that actually has a correct way to do it are these flat buttons right here. And these are the ones that we're going to attach today. Okay, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be using this really huge needle right here that you use to sew the faces onto a cloth doll when you're making one out of cloth. And I know you're not going to use a needle this huge, but this is what I'm using so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm also using a really thick thread. It's actually the same thread that you would use to sew. Um, a hair weave into your hair and it's really thick so I'm using that as well so you guys can see what I'm doing and you're going to tie a double knot in the end through both strands and that's the first step let's begin okay the first thing we're going to do is put the needle through the fabric like we would normally do and we're going to also put it the button as well and to create the shank, what we're going to do is we're going to take either a toothpick or a straight pin and we're going to lay it over the buttonholes like this. And you're going to sew around it. And that way we're going to create our shank through the, with the thread. And we're going to sew through this three, maybe four times. I have really thick thread. I'm going to do it around t about twice on this video. But when you do it at home, you're going to do it three or four times. You're going to sew over the same spot three or four times. Can you see? You can't see it? Okay. Can you see it now? Mm -hmm. That's two. This needle is kind of hard to go through the fabric because it's really thick. And now if you sew over those two, three or four times, you're going to go to the next set of holes. You're going to sew three or four times. One, that's one. I almost stuck myself. Oh my goodness. That would have been extremely painful. And here is, can you see it, Orion? Mm-hmm. Here is two. If I can get the needle through there, that would help really a lot. And we're going to sew that through there like that. And what you're going to notice is when you put this here between the thread and the button you're going to have a space. You take this out and you can see right there you have a little space there. The next thing we're going to do is pull the needle back through again but not through any of the buttonholes. Behind the button like this. You see that? Behind the button. Pull it through and then you wind it around 
three times around the button three times and that's what you're doing you're creating the shank with the thread push it back through the other end and you're going to turn your fabric over and you're going to tie it off bring your the camera down some right there tie it off like this make a back stitch in your fabric and you're going to leave a little loop like this and you're going to take this end right here pull it through pull it through like that and you're going to take this loop take this end right here pull it through like that and then now you're going to take your needle and put it through here and then you're going to pull your needle through and then you're going to go under the thread wrap your thread around twice and pull it through again and that is where you're going to cut it these are not my fabric scissors so that was kind of hard and then you will see that you have your button and you have your can you see that right there your thread shank you have your thread shank that we created hold on let me adjust my camera we have the thread shank that we created with the thread and then we have the knot on the end this button is not going to go anywhere you're not going to be able to pull it off and because we created the shank with the thread we're not going to have all that stress in the thread we're not going to have the stress on the back of the fabric and we're not going to have a stress on the button and that is the correct way to sew a button onto your fabric and if you like this technical video let me know in the comments and we'll make more for you guys to do and don't forget to I'm sorry subscribe here like here, and as usual, happy sewing.